Hi guys, it's BYT and welcome back to another how to installs video. Now, basically a couple of days ago, Amazon decided that they were going to roll out an update for the layout of the homepage and everything uh, of the Fire TV box, Fire TV stick. As a result of that, the other videos I've done on how to install certain apps onto the Fire TV are now kind of redundant. I mean, it still works the same way, but the layout's completely different now. So basically today, I've said basically 17 times already, stop saying basically. So basically what we're gonna do today is I'm going to jump onto my Fire TV and I'm gonna show you exactly how to actually Cat's drinking my coffee. Can't believe it. <sighs> uh, but yeah, so we're gonna jump onto my Fire TV and I'm gonna show you exactly how to sideload Cody onto the Fire TV. I'm gonna give a brief rundown of the new layout and, and what the different sections are, how it runs, and then I'm gonna show you how to install Cody onto the Fire TV. If you do enjoy this video and find it helpful, if you can drop a like below uh, just to let me know, it'd be amazing if we can smash a thousand likes on another video. And of course, if you're new to the channel and enjoy sort of tech reviews, how to installs, um, Cody and media streaming tutorials. I do five videos a week, Monday to Friday, every week. Then hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it, and then you get notified every time I post a video. And also, if you have friends and family that need Cody on their Fire TV, then of course, share it with them, send them the video, and then hopefully it helps them out as well. But without further ado, let's jump straight onto my Fire TV and show you exactly how to get Cody on there. Okay, so we have jumped onto my Fire TV box, but this works exactly the same way if you had a Fire TV stick. The only difference is if you have an old Fire TV stick, you won't be able to use the Alexia Voice activation search, which I'm gonna be using in a second, but you can type it in anyway. I will show you what I mean in a second. But just to give you a rundown of the Fire TV new homepage layout, it's very much more like an Android box in terms of the layout, sort of these square app sections. It feels much more like a smart TV, uh, an Android box way of doing things, Nvidia Shield, same sort of thing, as opposed to how it was before where all of the menu titles were on the left-hand side and the functions in the middle. It's now all of the menu titles are at the top and of course, and of course the apps are now below. On the left hand side you've got a search section, uh, you've got home, your videos, movies, TV shows and apps and settings. We're just gonna jump into settings. We're just gonna run through a few of the different features. So now you've got a notification section here, which you can uh, you get notified of different things from your different apps you have downloaded, like updates and things like that. You've got your network settings, you've got display and sound. I'm just gonna quickly go in here to show you how to, to change the aspect of your screen. If you find uh, parts of your screen are getting cut off by your TV, then what you wanna go, do is you wanna go down to display and you wanna to go to calibrate display. And as you can see there, you can then adjust your screen to fit with uh, the actual size of your TV and then you just click accept. You can also change the video, video resolution so you can have it always to stay on 1080p 60 hertz or you can stay on auto depending on what you're watching. Also in this section, you've got enable display mirroring. So if you want to mirror something from your phone, for example, to your Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV box, then this is the section you need to come to. Come back out and you've got your applications. So these are all of your apps that you have downloaded on your uh, Fire TV. Now this top one here, collect app usage data. I keep that off, uh, but it's, it's up to you whether you want it on or off, but I tend to leave that off and just quickly while we're here as well, if you are, if you do have Kodi, for example, and you want to fresh start your Kodi on your Fire TV stick or Fire TV box, uh, this is a really, really easy way to do it. So you just come out of Kodi to your Amazon homepage. You come to this section here, you click on manage installed applications. You go down to where you've got Kodi, you click on that and you click on clear data that completely wipes Kodi so you get a fresh install of Kodi so you can then start again if you're finding it's glitching out you would want to hear clear data and that's a really really easy way of uh, resetting your Kodi. You've also got clear cache there as well uh, but there are wizards available inside Kodi that you can do that as well. If you don't know what a wizard is uh, I have many videos on Kodi for example where you can download wizards that have good maintenance tools etc for the use on the Kodi app. So we come back out, you've got controllers and Bluetooth devices. Obviously that is where you assign uh, controllers and Bluetooth devices. So uh, if you've got a, a hand controller, for example, or a, a pair of headphones that you wanna connect up 
to your Fire TV. So if you want to watch movies, for example, without having the sound coming through the TV, it comes through your headphones instead. Obviously, you can set up your Bluetooth devices here. There is a couple of things you're going to need to do first before we actually uh, try and download Kodi. Uh, you've got your device. Now, this is the section in device where you need to go always if you want to download apps from unknown sources. So for example, Kodi that we're going to be down downloading today, in order for that to work, you need to go to developer options. You need to click ADB debugging on and apps from unknown sources on. I also have USB debugging on, uh, but that I think that's only available on the Fire TV box, not the Fire Stick. I think the Fire Stick just comes with that one and that one but you need to make sure that all of them are on uh, so that you can actually download uh, and transfer sideload apps basically uh, from unknown sources and unknown sources is basically anything that's not available on the amazon uh, app store and the same on the google play store if you've got an android phone you'll often get that message uh, that you need to change your settings in order to download an apk so they're both on now with the my account as well if you're going to be downloading any apps today you will have an amazon account obviously to set up your fire tv uh, you need to make sure that on that website amazon.com in your uh, account settings you have one click purchases on so that enables you to actually download apps because they're a one click download they're a one click purchase almost even if they're free it's still counted as a one click purchase so you do need to make sure that in your otherwise you may get error messages when you're trying to download apps because you haven't set up your uh, one click purchases on your Amazon account. So now we've got all of them sorted, we come back up to the top and we're going to go to, we're gonna go to the search section at the top because the one thing you're gonna need in order to start sideloading this Kodi app, you're going to need to download the ES file app. Now I'm going to use my voice search uh, but again, if you don't have the voice search, if you have the old Fire Stick, you can just type it in using the keypad here and you type it in. Uh, but like I said, once it's there, I'll show you what you need to do next. So I'm just going to do the voice search ES file. And as you can see, it has now uh, given me the option of the ES file. You click on that. Now, because I already have this downloaded, it has loaded up with the ES file, but you will need to press get when it loads up and it will then start downloading again as long as you have one click purchases already enabled on your Amazon.com account. The same account that you set up your Fire TV with. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go to the left hand side and where it says favorite here, you want to click on add and you want to click on a path. Now the path you want is http colon forward slash forward slash cody dot tv forward slash download and then click on next. You then want to name it as anything, I'll name it as Cody, and click on next. Then you go down to where it says add, and you click on that, and now on the left hand side of this menu, it will have at the bottom, Cody. We click on that, and it will now load that website that we just typed in. So we need to press right to go across to the website and down. Keep going down. As you can see, there's a little uh, red square around certain sections. We need to keep going down until that little red square goes down to goes down to the section that says current release uh, 16.1 Jarvis. Now the 17 above it is very, very close to being ready, uh, but it is still not the final version and it's not stable. So we're going to click 16.1 obviously if you're watching this a few weeks a few months later then you will click on the Kodi 17 if that is the final stable version but as you see it'll say current release when it's ready but the current release at the moment is 16.1 we now need to scroll down and we need to get to the bit that says arm on the android Kodi version and you need to click on the section as you can see there that says arm so we click on that Nothing will happen at the start, 
but then what you want to do is you want to go down to the bottom keep going down in fact go left to the main menu and then down to the bottom and then across to where it says more and then open in browser and then ES downloader just once and it will then start downloading the Kodi 16.1 Jarvis app and it will be almost ready to rock on your system. So it will say download successfully and it's got open folder and open file. I'll open file and then it says here cancel in market and install. If you click on install it will simply install onto your uh, Fire TV. And as you can see, it says, do you want to up install an update to this application? Your existing data will not be lost. The updating application will get access to new and all. So again, we'll go down to install. And it says, Kodi app installed, done or open. We'll click on open. And as you can see, preparing for first time run, Kodi 16.1 has loaded onto our Fire TV box. And that is as simple as that. So that is it guys, I hope you have enjoyed and found the video helpful. As always, if you have, chuck a little like down below. And like I said before, share it with your friends and family and subscribe down below if you're new and you enjoy or find this sort of content helpful. I'll see you tomorrow, it's SBIT, peace out. Welcome back to another episode, device reviews, how to install and any other business. Now today is a device review and it's something a little bit different. Uh, usually obviously we're talking about uh, boxes and things like that. Today we're going to be talking about some wireless Bluetooth headphones.